Tonight on the Night Team. Racist messages sent all across the country, including to young Louisville black men. Our executive slaves will come and get you in a brown van. We are hearing from local advocates who are expressing their worry and frustration, but say they're not surprised. Young black boys and girls um, being terrorized on the heels of this election. Plus, as President-elect Donald Trump prepares his cabinet ahead of taking office for the second time, how is the Democratic Party planning to move forward? And later, the Kentucky Veterans Day Parade returns to downtown Louisville. Fight for my country. And that's what I would on for, to fight for my country. We are hearing from veterans on the importance of honoring those who came before and those who will come after. You're watching the WHAS 11 night team. Racist texts are being sent around the nation to black Americans and new tonight we are learning from FBI Louisville that some of the texts have been sent to people right here in Kentucky. It's our top story right here on the night team. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Dieterer. If we don't have any information on how many of these messages were received in Louisville, but community leaders say the references to slavery and cotton picking are alarming. WHAS 11's Alexandra Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester spoke with those leaders today. It says, greetings, you have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. Be ready November 30th, 4 p.m. sharp with your belongings. Our executive slaves will come and get you in a brown van. Be prepared to be searched once you enter the van. You are in Plantation Group C. See you November 30th. The text message sent to a young black student in Louisville. There are young black boys and girls um, being terrorized on the heels of this election um, on the basis of race. Racist anonymous text sent to black Americans nationwide. It's difficult to, put the, to find words to really explain. Community leaders say the text started circulating on Wednesday. Louisville Urban League's Lyndon Pryor says they come after an election day that was at the helm of a divisive presidential race. The idea that um, this type of hatred um, would would be present um, in the immediate aftermath is not um, terribly surprising. ABC News confirmed that a text messaging app called Text Now used to create those fake phone numbers shut down at least one account that allegedly sent some of those texts. ABC News also confirmed that the FBI is investigating this. This should not deter us but this should make us stronger. Raul Cunningham of Louisville's NAACP tells Louisville's black community to remember basic principles. Those principles and mores that got us through slavery and got us through Jim Crow. We have to regird and be prepared. Now, leaning on each other and hoping the perpetrators are caught. Go back to the hem of the civil rights movement. We shall overcome. In Louisville, Alexander Goldberg, WHAS 11 night team on your side. Louisville FBI says they are in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities. And if you were sent this text to report it at IC3.gov. President-elect Donald Trump and President Joe Biden will meet in the Oval Office on Wednesday to discuss the transition. Trump continues to put together his team and Elon Musk could play a role. Sources tell ABC News that Musk has been on calls the president-elect has taken with foreign leaders. Musk has proposed a new Department of Government Efficiency, saying he can slash $2 trillion of waste from the federal budget. But since his company, SpaceX, currently receives billions of dollars in federal government contracts, a role in the administration could create conflicts of interest. Republicans now hold the White House and the Senate, and it seems they will continue to hold the House. There are still 22 races in play, but Republicans have already expanded their majority by flipping three seats. In the Senate, Republicans have already flipped four seats. Only one seat has yet to be called. When the Senate does reconvene, Republicans will have a new leader for the first time since 2007. Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell announced he would not be seeking re-election as the party leader. 
Kentucky's other senator, Rand Paul, has thrown his support behind McConnell's rival, Florida Senator Rick Scott. Scott, who was just reelected to his second term, challenged McConnell for the minority leadership position in 2022. McConnell and Scott have long feuded over strategy and vision for the Republican Party. And when Scott claimed his Senate victory Tuesday night, he criticized McConnell's leadership. No, two years ago, I challenged Mitch McConnell because I know there has to be a change. We have a great Republican Party all across this country. We need a Republican Party in D.C. We need a Republican Party to start solving the problems of this country, and we have a significant number of problems. Scott has also picked up the endorsement of a few other Republican senators. John Thune of South Dakota and John Cornyn of Texas have long been thought the front runners for the position, having served as McConnell's number two. The closed door election for Senate leader will be held on November 13th. As for Democrats, they now have to look at where the party goes from here. Already, party leaders are addressing what went wrong. Former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi told the New York Times that the party would have benefited from Biden dropping out earlier and holding an open primary. As for the future, Democrats may look to Kentucky for its next presidential candidate. Governor Bashir is the most popular Democratic governor in the nation and was a candidate to join Harris's ticket as vice president. Bashir was asked this week if he had any ambition to run for president in 2028. Uh, we'll see what the future holds uh, in the future, but right now uh, my only focus is on this job, is about making sure I uh, continue to stand up for Kentuckians and, and, and all Americans to ensure that their rights are respected. Bashir is also on the short list to take over as the National Democratic Party chair. The current committee chairman is not expected to seek a second, a second term. However, according to the Associated Press, Bashir has no interest in the chairmanship. Well, getting you now to Matt Breland. Matt, we saw some showers tonight and they are not stopping. What is the forecast looking going into our Sunday tomorrow? Yeah, that's right, Alex. You know, we have had a steady stretch of pleasant conditions and then today we did see that cloud cover begin to grow in our skies and now we are waiting for some steady rain showers to head our direction. But here's how things are looking currently across the city, still staying mostly quiet. Temperatures are in those upper 50s and we're still seeing a steady amount of cloud cover. The temperatures for the rest of us in between the 50s and the 60s. We're at 58 in Bowman, 56 Shepherdsville, 58 for you folks near Lanesville, Indiana. And then we are seeing those winds stay out of the south. That's really going to be driving in some of that moisture to feed this system. As we go into the nighttime hours, we're really expecting a steady amount of rainfall and even some heavy downpours just as we go into the overnight hours. So I would say past midnight, that's whenever we'll start seeing those first rounds of heavy showers. We do have a weather impact alert day in place for tomorrow. Get ready for heavy rain showers. Those details Details coming up soon. All right, thank you, Matt. A man is in the hospital with life threatening injuries after a shooting last night in the Russell neighborhood. LMPD says the shooting happened around 1120 last night in the parking lot outside the Dino's food mark on West Broadway. When officers arrived, they found a man who was shot in the head. LMPD says the man was still alive when he was transported to the hospital, but that the homicide unit will lead the investigation. Anyone with information should call the anonymous tip line. That number of course is 574 LMPD.